It's better than the $500 you're going to spend. Entertainment business. Writing, producing, acting. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Hi, welcome. I'm Carrie Kabanoff. And I'm Todd Stroik. And this is The, the Casting, Casting Couch. Couch. Thanks so much for tuning in this week to our brand new show, The Pilot of The Casting Couch. Super excited. We have yeah. an amazing guest for you tonight, an amazing our guest. first guest. He's brilliant. I love him. Um, he's a good personal friend of mine. He's a writer. Director. Actor. Singer. Sweetheart. Well, I guess he doesn't really sing, but that's okay. Drag queen extraordinaire. Right. Just so talented. Very He's, so he's kind of like a living Hollywood legend. For sure. All right. Um, I before we, we bring him on, yeah. let's let's watch a little clip of his work. That's what I was going to say. Well, I said it first. All right. There was two things my mom was really good at when I was a kid. Baking chocolate chip cookies and killing herself. Fool, this movie could save Hollywood, but I'm being blacklisted. Like Orson Welles. Orson Welles didn't start at the top. Uh-uh. Citizen Kane. Uncle Don, that isn't cinema. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Whoa. Are you guys hiring? I was the head of the AV department at school, and I can do amazing things with the webcam. Oh, that was so funny. All right, let's welcome our first guest to the casting couch. Here he is, Mr. Stephen Foster. Foster. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. Todd, good to see you. Hey. Mwah. Mwah. One more. Mwah. And one more for the camera. Mwah. Okay, that's okay. enough. Mm. That's enough. All right, Great. get a room. Get a room. <laughs> it's so good to be here. Uh, so for good coming. to have you. I'm so oh. excited to be shooting the pilot here of the casting Whoa. couch with you, my very good friend, Stephen yeah. Foster. And I'm your first guest. First guest, first wow. guest. So this couch hasn't been uh, warmed mm -hmm. up yet. And I, I love the, the name, the casting couch. Well, who doesn't? You know, I mean. <laughs> and, it has you know, a history. Exactly, you know. Joan Crawford, you know what Joan Crawford said about the casting couch. Someone asked her, said, Joan, what do you think about the casting couch? And she said, well, you know, darling, it sure beats the hard, cold floor. <laughs> <laughs> and she should know. I would yeah. hope so. All right, so let's talk about your first big acting break. Okay. Here in LA. My first big acting break was a show that I wrote or co wrote with my friend Scott Wilkerson called Diva Analysis The Mechanics of Camp. Diva Analysis. Yes. This sounds like the yes. story of your life. I'm a diva. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so everyone is. <laughs> if I can be a diva, anyone can be a diva. Right. Um, Bette Midler, Liza Minnelli, Karen Carpenter, and Judy Garland. So in your show, Diva yes. Analysis, yes. you took on the persona, personas yes. of these amazing divas. Yes. I want to hear a little bit of Liza. Okay. Oh. Okay. Listen, it's, it's so good to be here on the casting couch. You know, <laughs> listen, this is a true story. I never had to use the casting couch oh. because I was the daughter of Vincent Minnelli and Judy Garland. But listen, you know what? You remind me of one of my husbands. I can't remember which one, but it, is, but it turned out terrific. Oh, listen, good. Four listen. Yeah, women, though. Going back, four women. women. So you played them all at the same time? No, they were, they were I played them separately. Um, he would lecture. And then I would come out as one of the divas as an example of what a diva is. And right. then he would lecture some more, and then um, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you were working at like Circuit City, though, right? Mm. When you came up with the show? No, I was working at Tower. Oh, Tower. Tower, oh, at Tower, Tower Records. Tower Records. Tower Records. Records. Tower Records. 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 I was working at, 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 at the now right. defunct Tower Records. Oh, Tower Records. And, um, but someone came in. We would right? do these little st scenes together, and I actually went to Circuit City to buy a boom Oh, box. that's okay. That's, that's and. Okay. Um, I went in there and uh, he said, I have a theater, and I said, I have a show. And I did not have a show. You lied. I lied. You are a liar. I lied. See, I Stephen lied Foster. through my, my cap teeth. Yes, I lied, lied, lied. Just like you have to do in Hollywood. You have, you to, have lie. to lie. To make it in this business, you that have to lie. That is how you do it. Lie, cheat, and steal. And, um, <laughs> and um, so Scott and I just took these little skits that we had been sort of playing around with at the record store and put them into a show. Great. So that's how I got my first break, Great. doing that show. And through that, I got my agent. I got my first agent. I got my headshots. So it put me on the map of what I could do as an actor right. and what I could do independently without knowing anything yeah. or anyone that in is, this town. That's great. That's great. Yeah. And so the second break, your second big break. The second big break was a movie called Off Hollywood. Off Hollywood. Okay, Off wait. Before we go on, Off Hollywood. I've seen the trailer for this movie. It is hysterical. I cannot wait to actually see it when it comes out. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. very excited yeah, for you. It, it's very funny. You guys have yeah. been working on it for a long time. Yes. This was in 2007. You went in for the audition. Yes, yes. Okay. I went in for the audition in 2007 Wait, 2007? 
Yeah. But okay, but your first break was in <laughs> 1995. Five. Yeah, between that time, I did a lot of drag. I did a lot of theater. Um, and the hardest part for me was to transition from doing drag ah. to being a guy. Okay. That was very challenging, and that took a lot of. I did stand up. I did a lot of. Uh, plays and auditions, so it took a. It was a transition time. Okay, well, I'm going to pause then yes. on the on off Hollywood. I want to know. Okay. You just mentioned you do theater. Yes. Okay. Well, theater's kind of a, there's a lot of it out here. Yes, what there is, is. What is your opinion or your advice to give to our audience? You know, about doing theater in LA. My advice to actors doing theater is, um, do it as minimally as you can. This is a this is a a, a TV and film town. Okay. You want to get as much footage on yourself as you can. No, I've, and, I've done theater, though. He but loves theater. I, love I, I don't theater. know if I love theater, but I love, I love theater. theater. Well, I did you theater know. this past year in the Hollywood Fringe uh, Festival. So mm-hmm. you think it's so, good to do sporadically? I, sporadically. Right. But you have to focus on getting, uh, you have to focus on getting footage of yourself right. on film. On film. Quick question. Yes. Because you said you did a lot of theater, did you find it hard to transition from being on stage to being in front of the camera? Great question. No, I did not. I found it to be very easy because we rehearsed for six months for Off Hollywood before I ever stepped in front of the camera. So it was like doing theater. Mm-hmm. But but that's not, that is the exception to the rule. Usually that's you'll true. get a script and you'll film it the next day. So theater training is good to serve you to how to act, right. but really focus on getting stuff on film. Yeah, it's kind of crazy because I just filmed my first feature film uh, yes. this uh, about six months ago and it came out this year. Uh-huh. And we had the scripts and we would go in and sometimes we didn't even rehearse. They're just like, okay, here's the shot, now go. go. And we just shot it. Right. No rehearsal. So right. you got to kind of be prepared for anything in this town. Yes, you do. And that's the other thing about um, making it in this town is be very flexible. Be very flexible, be very open, and say yes to a lot of stuff as opposed to no. no. I right. find a lot of actors, they'll say maybe to stuff, mm. and they won't commit. Right. And I say to actors, commit. Yes. Even if you lead, if it leads you to an alley, it still leads you somewhere, somewhere and at least you've done something, something. Mm-hmm. you know, and always have something to talk about. Right. Always have a project that's in the can. Yeah, like, oh, hey, what are you up. working on right now? Right. Yeah. Have something mm-hmm. to say. Right. Which, that way, what are you working on right now? I am working on oh. a movie coming out October 3rd uh, called Hidden Hills. Okay. And that movie was something that we shot on, on the gun. It was like, oh. we, you learn the lines, you get up, you l- do it, and three right. takes. Right. I mean, that director was just quick as a whip. And, and I, d- I did see the trailer for that. Yeah. It does look good as well, so make sure you check it out. Yes. Hidden Hills, the movie, I think there's a Facebook page. Yes, and right. there's also a website, too. Right. And we're giving it away for free, starting... What? Uh, for free? For free. You don't get anything for free, for free. in this town. Yeah. For free, kids. October. Except I- advice on yeah, this show. Yeah. Yeah. Advice Casting on couch. this show. Um, so, yeah, they're giving it away for free on their website, hiddenhillsthemovie.com. Great. Yeah. And you booked that through Stage 32. Yes, I did. So tell us, what is Stage 32? Stage 32 is a website for actors, directors, and writers to all hook up and connect. And Great. that's the main thing in this business. You want to connect with as many, many people, people as you can. Actors, writers, and directors. That way, right. you you always have a sea of people to turn to. Mm-hmm. That's right. It's very I, I important to get out there, connect, yes. and network. Yes. Even before you get here, yeah. connect yes. and network. There's so many places to do that online nowadays. Yes, yes. When I first started out, the computer they didn't have computers. Right. You know, we I couldn't even make flyers. God, I kill myself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so not only are you incredibly good looking, well, thank you. Uh, crazy talented, thank you, uh, in acting and producing, but also. You are a writer. Yes, I am. <laughs> is that yeah, your name? That's my name. Is that your name? Is, is that your Stephen face? Foster? Is yes, that your face? face. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Before the facelift, yes. So tell us about the book. Yeah. The book, the book is, um, it's a, it's a roadmap for actors to find their true destinies. It's, I call it the artist way for actors, because uh, what happened for me was I went to college and I couldn't get cast in anything. What? No, you're I kidding. Couldn't. I could not get cast in anything. I cast him in everything. I yeah, know. thank you. Now, you're now, but back then I couldn't get arrested. But, um, <laughs> but um, I. I'm sure I, you were handcuffed every once in a while. Yeah, only on occasion. <laughs> only when they begged for yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Um, I want to find that footage. Right. So I developed a roadmap for actors to always go back to, so they can stay on the course to keep them inspired. Yeah. So that's very that's a very important part of my journey because I got banged up a lot. Mm before I actually developed enough self-confidence. Well, now here so you've learned a lot. Yeah, you've learned, I've learned a, lot, a lot. And you've put it in this I've book. put it in that book, yes. Great. 
But this book is also a part of a workshop that you teach. There's a lot of workshops out in LA. There's classes being taught all the time. Left and right. right. People taking but advantage this, of actors. Yes. yes. I'm interested in this. <laughs> right. Because okay. this seem to be great tools that you probably teach yes. struggling actors or people wanting to come out here and act. Yes. Right. It's, it's, uh, I teach it at Four Actors by Actors. And it's a 12-week course. And what we do is we work on removing your blocks, the first part of the class, like the first hour and a half. And then we work on copy acting, sitcoms, uh, theater, whatever, what have you. We and, work and on scenes. And copy is our, our scripts. Yes, yeah, scripts. Uh, scenes, we work on scripts, dialogues, scenes, dialogues, improv, mm -hmm. whatever improv. the actor needs to focus on. Because I tell actors, you know, So it's each, different for each student. It's you, different. You kind of design it around each student. That's yes, great. Yes, I've never teach Todd what I would teach you. Yeah. All actors have an individual journey. And right. you have to honor that journey. And you have to honor the actor individually and treat them individually and one of the things that drives me nuts about LA is the exorbitant prices people charge to teach you acting and the fact that they treat you like a number right and they don't give you individual attention you know they go every actor works in every class mm. but what kind of work and right. what is the feedback and yeah. some right. of the feedback you get from um, acting cl classes right. and teachers it's not very intelligent right. and it's not very helpful. Okay, so while we're on that subject of classes and workshops, yes. you know, when I first moved out here, and I'm sure you felt the same ways, we were told that we had to take classes and workshops and that's kind of what was the thing to do. Well, for me, my opinion was I come from, you know, a university school where I got a BFA in theater performance. And I was like, I'm not gonna take classes. I've already got my theater training. Yeah. Right. So I think there's a lot of people out here who think that or people who, who may be coming out here with that thought. So can you kind of, what is your opinion on that? My opinion is if you can afford the classes, take them. But if you're struggling to pay your rent, work on getting work. Work, so like student let films. Work be your, let yeah. work be your class. Mm -hmm. That's where you're gonna learn. You yes. don't learn so much by sitting in a class and watching other, you do, you learn something, but it's not the hub of it. The right. work is the hub of it. Right. I'd say get footage, um, get together with friends and read scripts. You right. can learn. You can learn. Stephen was at my house this yes, weekend. I we was. did just a whole yes, afternoon of table reads and of new was, features that and, we're working on. And I on learned right now. so much sitting yeah. there watching every actor work. What are some tips or advice that you have for new actors here in LA, or maybe actors that haven't been here for a little while but are struggling? Do it as Bette Midler. Um, can I do it as Ruth Gordon? Do it as Ruth sure. Gordon. Okay. <laughs> uh, my advice to actors is what Ruth Gordon said to actors. She said, never give up. And the reason I give that advice to actors is because everything will throw you in this town. Yeah. Mm. Everyone's advice, everyone has an opinion. But if you just make it your mission to never give up under any circumstances, that's all the information you right. need. And I think that's one of our, our main goals to get out to you, our viewers mm -hmm. out here from, the, from watching the casting couches, don't give up. Yeah. But we're, we're gonna throw, this whole season, we're gonna be throwing out a lot of different advice from ourselves and yeah. from our really special guests mm -hmm. who are here with us each mm -hmm. week. And it's kind of for you to connect with us on, on what you hear that comes out of our mouth. Do you wanna take that advice and follow it? Or do you wanna take it and kind of, mm, I don't really need that advice. Well, mm -hmm. the great thing is we're gonna have so many different people on this season and everyone's gonna have their own opinion and you can kind of see who you meld with yeah. and who you see agree with. You. And exactly. Because ultimately we just wanna give you a nice foundation before coming out here or even being here, here and saying, building you know, that foundation. Building that foundation and yeah. right. moving right. on your path. Right. Yeah. All right, and what about um, people from around the world or around the United States who are tuning in watching Casting Couch um, who are want to move out here to LA to become actors? What What is your advice? My advice is to save as much money as you can. Save as much? Yes. Okay, like how much? Uh, 10,000. 10,000, what 10, do you think? 10,000? Yes, give yourself a How much big, did you have when you came out here? I had 250, two, $250,000? $250, $250. Oh, I was but, gonna say, no and, wonder you're and successful. And a place to stay. But you had a okay. place to stay. <laughs> I had a place had, to you stay. Had, you made yes, connections with people that were here in yes. town. Yeah, he was I on did. the casting couch I knew sleeping. one person from college. She hey. let, yeah. It was it was a casting futon actually. I like, yeah. I like hide a bed, you know, the bed that comes out. Um, but I would say save up a lot of money. Um, ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. And you, don't, what is your opinion? 
I I say save as much as you can, but if, yes. if you have a plan, yes, have a plan. Yes. If, if you have five hundred dollars in your bank account, then you better know how to make it work and make yes. some connections. But no, you're friends. gonna get out here and you're gonna be working your butt working off your to pay off. your bills. Yes, and I would say make as many connections as you can online first, and have a body of work before you come out here. And I don't mean right. theater credits. No. I mean things that you, if a casting director says, show me your I have a theater reel, list this long. Me does not too. mean anything out me here. Me too, because it's not taped. Nope. Yeah. And when it is taped, it's not the good it's quality. It's not taped, right. Right. They so, need to see your face. And the technology is now where you can get a set of lights and get a camera and film yourself. Any last words for our peeps out there? Um, I would just say stay focused and never give up and don't let people discourage you. And if they do... Read my book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure thank having you, you on the show for our, our inaugural pilot. Woo! We're so excited to get it out there. Yeah, so shake, excited shake, to have you guys that. here yeah. tuning in with us. <laughs> All right, I'll do a little bit there too. There you go. Um, I'm Todd Stroik. You can follow me uh, on Twitter at Todd Stroik. I'm Carrie Kavanoff. You can find me on Facebook at Carrie Kavanoff. I'm also there on Facebook, and you can also please go and like our Facebook page, The Casting Couch. Thanks so much for joining us this week, and uh, tune in next week for our next special guest. In California, paper hoes and playboys pump me full of celluloid. We keep it tight almost every night. Red copper style in the door to five, we do it right.